here we are in Sedona and we're on the second floor of Terry Frankel's house the seven arches house, house of seven arches right here in uh, Sedona beautiful Sedona and uh, we're gonna sing a couple of songs for you here Motorcycles and cars <laughs> everywhere. That, so, that's the way you tell it's live, right? Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. We just welcome everybody. We're going to have a great time and uh, just enjoy. Very impromptu, but uh, it'll be a lot of fun. And uh, as we look at this past weekend and the fact that it's all about our independence and our wonderful country. Thank you. 
performed here many times yeah. for various fundraisers and my birthday party. <laughs> yes, we did. We did. And close that door. Well, Terry, this is um oh, there. This is a really special spot in oops, in your house. Get in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell this is very impromptu? Anyway, it's a very special spot in uh, Terry's house and we're gonna let her kind of give you a little rundown in history about this amazing piano and, and the woman that it came from and, and all those wonderful things. So I'm going to turn it over to Terry. Okay, so this is the House of Seven Arches. It was built in 1978 and it has five bedrooms, four baths, 4,000 square feet, 2,000 on each deck and 1,000 square feet of covered deck ah. on each floor and we'll be going downstairs later. But this is our pride and joy. And this is Lucille Ball's piano. So you see pictures of Lucille Ball playing the piano. And in this particular picture, you see the 1932 MGM stars. And this is the group chef that Lucy was in. So we know that was taken in 1932. And this was purchased from Jeffrey Ball, Lucy's nephew, who is a, a GB design architect, jewel designer in Cottonwood, Arizona. So. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there you go. For sure. And so, I wanted to point out that the home was featured actually oh, yes. in the June issue of Sedona Monthly Magazine. And uh, it features a wonderful photo by Gary Glenn, oh. an amazing photographer. So we're so thrilled. to so if you have a chance to see that, please do. Yes, for sure. Okay. So are you up for another song here? Oh, um, yeah, I All think right. so. Let's All get right. over here. Um, you could just be in front of the I channel, I suppose. I don't know if the lighting would be better if you were over there. We're just, this is impromptu again. So. <laughs> Let's move you oh, over there, Fred. Well. Oh, okay. And, uh, because I think the lighting is better for us there. Yes, this was all, we put Fred on the spot to be our camera person, and we're really, really blessed to have him. Um, that way we don't have to mess with all of that. We can just have fun and make fun of him. So well, I'm always on the spot. <laughs> He'll join us later when we can see his handsome yeah. face. We'll, we'll let you see him a little bit later on in, in the show here. But. Well, I'm going to turn it over to you, well, and why don't you do that cowboy song that you were talking about? This song was done by Marshall Tucker in the 1960s. Um, you take it. And you'd be amazed at how relevant it is as far as cowboy music. Okay. Hope I can play this. You can. I have no doubt. I haven't played it in a while. I, I didn't even get to rehearse it for this show. So. <laughs> well, this is impromptu. You know how that goes. All right, here we go. I got nothing 
I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm good once as I always was. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna move so on. Now we're gonna we're gonna get out of the way here, and uh, yeah. Terry is going to play a little bit of. What are you gonna play? Oh, well, uh, well, the the only song I know after ten years of accordion lessons. <laughs> Uh, six to sixteen years old. Oh wow! And then put it away, and then out of the blue, I acquired this uh, accordion from Jim and Jeannie Martin. Yep, that was Fred. Good. Yeah, Fred said I'm going to get it for you, but you have to play. Yeah, that we heard those stipulations. Yes, we did. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let me get out. Of the way. Okay, so you're Squadron, and I'm also an honorary commander to the 944th Medical Squadron at Luke. And uh, the uh, staging squadron is a reserve squadron that cares for sick and wounded soldiers globally and moves them through the aeromedical evacuation system to a higher echelon of care during contingency operations. And I'm very proud of And I'm the only person who's received a lifetime honorary commander award over there. And here we have, this is my twin sister and me in uh, Vancouver, actually, to my very famous photographer, uh, Hersey. And um, when you see the flags on 89A, 89 flags on 89A, well, I named that. Um, I am a lifetime associate member of the Marine Corps League, Sedona Marine Corps League. And so they wanted to put these flags up. And I said, well, how about 89 flags and 89A? So there we are. And this is uh, Dieter and Surreal, who own Steakhouse 89. So when they opened their restaurant, it was a natural to have a fundraiser for Steakhouse 89. 89 flags at 89A. So they gave us a, uh, 
a check for $4,500. God bless him. Okay, so right. that's pretty much here. Oh, and then that's a Lucille Ball. Those are Lucille Ball uh, dolls. And uh, some Lucy, Lucy. Lots of uh, Lucy memorabilia. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, okay. So now I think we're going to have a little more bit more entertainment. Yes. Well, here we well. go. <laughs> we're so honored to have you here. And vice versa. You know, we're honored that you let us be a part of it. We've been seeing you for years at Blazing M Ranch. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We miss it. Oh. All right. We're getting back into the groove here after wandering around a little bit. And there's some footage there that probably should be edited, but we can't do that because we're live. Anyway, um... This is how I feel about right now. This one? God bless America. God bless America. Mm -hmm. the Statler Brothers many years ago. He was the very little guy that sang the very high tenor part. Um, he had moved away from the Statlers when they disbanded and had gone out and he's doing a lot of gospel music and patriotic music and this particular song just really, I don't know, hit home with us. Uh -huh. um, it's all about trusting in God, I guess. It's, well, it's, it's a uh... A patriotic song. It's kind of a patriotic song and gospel song rolled into one. Yep, it is. But it's uh, it says an awful lot. So uh, because of all of the sacrifices that our soldiers have made yes. in order for this country to be what it has become over the yep. over the years. Freedom. And give us the freedom that we have, the freedoms that we have now. As we all know, and, freedom is not free. The prices are huge that people pay. And we want this country to stay free. Yes. And with God's help, that's going to happen. Amen. A nation built on sacrifice.
strong and by his grace we will carry on in God we trust how can we turn away our faces in God we trust the giver of our liberty we must not folks are enjoying all of this. We're having such a wonderful time, and, and like we've told you, it's very impromptu and, and not rehearsed, but we are just blessed to be able to be uh, in this lovely home and with these wonderful people, and uh, just celebrating this time uh, in America. You know, these are some of the people who are, oh, who are here. Oh, which are right well, now. thank you. Some of them. Okay. Well, my goodness, we've got uh, Tom and Chandra, good Sedonites. And Lisa Pasalich? Pasalich? Pasalich. Oh, Pasalich, okay, thank you. Uh, Lori Faith, Deborah Shin, Gary Glenn, Sign Jackie Bassett. Boy, we have uh, lots of uh, wonderful people. Susan uh, Sullivan, I can never say her last name right. Moran? Dave Stamey? My gosh. Hugh McLennan is all the way up in Canada watching this. Oh, Amazing. We're, 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 Bill uh, Wells, who played with uh, Ryan at Barling's Music Theater. Oh, wow. Um, oh! Seth Wheel is now with the Flying W Wranglers. They're they're going. Um, well, Jim they're, Rundell. They're getting ready to yeah. take off. It's so wow! I mean, Colorado Springs, yeah. by the way. Well, thank you guys, all of you, for tuning in. We're having a wonderful time. Hope you're enjoying it too. We're gonna take a little meander over to your uh, your flag and your double mint machine and, yeah. and all that. So yeah, we'll just follow you. We got you just move here. this down way. Oh, uh, so I'll ready? See if I, can, you I can help thank Fred. You. Okay. I will, I will go with Paris. Okay. I will follow you. <laughs> okay. So we're going through the kitchen. And actually, and it's it's so clean. I wish my kitchen looked like this. I'm telling you what. It took a while. <laughs> so this is our favorite. This is a make yourself at home, clean my kitchen. <laughs> and we're going to make our way to our newest um, acquisition. Yes. And it is a real. 1950s double mint gum machine. Whoa! So, what did Fred, do you want to do the honors? And you can, uh, and we can get you on camera, or do you want to do it? Let's let Fred do it, and I'll run the camera so we can get Fred in the... you got to have him in a little bit of this, eh? Yeah. Is there a dime here? Is it a dime here? We have a dime. Okay. Terry first, gave me a dime. First of all, <laughs> Fred, we're going to introduce you right quick. This is Fred Shin. Yep. And uh, he's the guy behind the camera, so any uh, problems, uh, he's, blame me. <laughs> he's, he's the one to blame. And by the way, this is the best deal in town. You're yeah. getting a 35 cent uh, pack of double mint gum for 10 cents. Wow. That's right. Here we go. Did it come out? Nope. Wait. You gotta be fast. Oh. <laughs> All right, Fred, let's do it. Now well, you got to reach in there and get the gum. I think it's, it's, Maybe it's out of gum. It's stuck. It's, oh, it's there. stuck. It's just stuck. Okay. Retake. <laughs> anyway, we'll just... One more. They're going to get rich on this machine. <laughs> Did it work? No. no oh, well. Thank you. Get this. Okay. You get the gist okay. of it. Oh, oh, we got two packages. And they fell out. There yeah, you yes, go. There you two, go. Two. Two. Awesome. That's, yeah. that's the search commercial, yes. by the way. <laughs> Two. Okay. All right. Keep on doing it. Follow Terry. Well, and a game. Yes. A game. <laughs> well, first we'd like to show you 
Fred Chin and I wrote a song called Here's to You, Red, White, and Blue. Um, and that song actually was used by the National Federation of Republican Women and uh, to promote uh, people signing up to vote. Ah. And uh, this was done for us by Carol Gandolfo, and she painted this uh, with the words to her song. So we're very happy about it. And uh, this is from Chicago, uh, Jenny and I, and me, I guess. Uh, these are, this is uh, Garth Brooks with Jenny and John Ford Coley. And uh, Fred's financial advisor, Darmesh Mora. <laughs> they had a three-day wedding. <laughs> and just different pictures. This one you might recognize. This is uh, the Doubleman Twins on Halloween. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's uh, Fred Chin and me. I talked him into it. Okay, Thank you. Other pictures. <laughs> From... Uh, when I was in Hollywood, I was on the board of directors of the Producers Guild of America. So I got to have my picture taken with whoever I had my camera with at the time. <laughs> and people like uh, like Charlton, I mean, uh, like Fred Eastwood, and Charlton Heston, and uh, Quincy Jones. We were on Geraldo twice. And uh, just different people, Shirley McLean. And uh, lots of pictures on our wall of fame. Uh, Jenny and I wrote, directed, and produced Dr. Phil's first pilot, and this is an actual fax from him to us. And I'll just close this room. Uh, I was um, in hiding in Stowe, Vermont, um, as a ghostwriter in a book that's not the O.J. Simpson trial called Nicole Brown Simpson, Private Diary of Life Interrupted. Um, there you go. And different other pictures, but I think you're probably ready to hear um, Jim G. Martin again. I can see him. Jim here. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna take a meander downstairs. Oh, we can be by all of your wonderful flags that people see as they drive by. Oh, yes, okay, we gotta yes. wait for the cameraman. He's yeah. got a, he's got a narrow path to walk yes, through he that does. tripod. Especially so, that that always narrow anyway. So uh, did you uh, did you did you talk about the hall the wall of fame to me at all? Oh, we did. That was the wall of fame. That we yes, just came that's from. what we did. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, oh, good. Yeah, let me show you something else that's interesting. Uh, this uh, Jenny and I have a double and twin room at the La Posada Hotel in Winslow, and it's named after Jenny and me. And this was painted by Tina Young, uh, who owns the La Posada with. Ellen Ethel, and she's represented in the Smithsonian. Ah. And then this is a real Charlie's Daniel fiddle. And Fred actually bought that for me at a uh, blind auction. And it's a Charlie Diggers. There you go. So, okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to mosey. Mosey on the Okay, just come on around, okay, come on out here. You. Again, Fred. Oh yeah, do another pan here. The sun is getting low and it's looking really beautiful right now. You know, over here and, and uh, the legs are kind of yeah, getting, getting narrow there. Let me well, they had to be for bear with long. bear with us here, folks. You get this. Okay, now now I'm just going to pan around here a little bit. That's the best set there. Oh, okay, you're looking at Chiprock. Ship you're looking rock. at uh, just a little to the left is Brins Mesa. And if we keep going to the left, we're going to hit uh, Chimney Rock. That's Chimney Rock over there, yeah. Yeah, and then also we have a live, we have a live earth cam. If you go to sedona 7 archeslivecom seven spelled out, sedona 7 archeslivecom this earth den is 24-7, and they're live shots of Sedona. And we've had over nine and a half million views. Nine and a half million views. Yeah, yeah that's really amazing. Well, that is uh, that is amazing. And, and climbing daily, yes. hourly. Yes. That, that camera runs 24 hours a day, right, Fred? Yeah, seven shots, 24 hours a day. Okay, I'm going to turn this back over. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. 
who follow us here. Get a shot of the circle down there. Oh yeah. I'll just let them do their It's kinda quiet right now. Yeah. Everybody's going already gone home from their fourth of July yeah. weekend or yeah. that way. Don't trip and fall, Fred. No, I'll try not to. No, we do not want to see a face plant on live TV. You don't have to look at the camera. I want you to watch your feet to make sure you don't fall. <laughs> okay. I, I just stopped and got a picture of Lucy here. Oh, okay. okay. That's Lucille Ball. Uh, okay, Lucille Ball owned the entire hillside at one time. That's why it's called Lucy's House. Lucy yes. owned this entire hillside? Yes. Okay. At one time. Wow. And so we're just we're going to... So we're going to start on the other end, and we're going to end up right here by the American oh, flag. Okay. Got it. All right. So, yeah, you can, you can tell about all these amazing flags that you have, too. That's one of the double mint twins. Yeah, this actually, we'll, we'll yeah, we will. Yeah. Is that, yes, sir? Yes. <laughs> you may have noticed that the Doubleman twins are socially distanced. Yes. They used to be together right here, and when this COVID thing happened, they're socially probably. So we're going to have to get masks for them, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Medley?
special And he meant so much to me And oh, I'd love to see him Just one more time, you see impact until you actually see that wall and you see those names and you realize how many lives were, were, uh, were given for freedom and uh, they deserve they deserve you know kudos they deserve our respect and everything so uh, I try every time yeah. I see well, they, they, anyone they paid the ultimate price so many of them did so yes, them did. yes. And, uh, we just need to be so thankful for what they have done for us. Yes. The, there was the uh, Welcome Home Vietnam Veterans Day mm -hmm. um, in Cottonwood. Right. And it was the second. The first one was held in Sedona. Okay. That was the second one. And the next was in Camp Verde. Okay. And uh, every year we have them. This year we had to postpone it because right. of, because of COVID. Lost. Oh, 58,000. 58,000 names, yeah. Were, were lost. Yeah. And over 300,000 were wounded. Mm -hmm. During and, that and, yeah, like I, said, I, I don't think that, even though we lived during that time, I don't think we understand the scope of, of how, how big it was and, and how much was lost. Oh, it's true. And then uh, uh, many of our veterans who returned uh, were treated very poorly yes. because a lot of people blamed them for the war. Mm -hmm. They were just uh, doing their job. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's why we have Welcome Home Vietnam Veterans Day to make up for what was lost and appreciation and those years. Just to, just to give them that respect they deserve. They deserve. All right. Okay, well that's, uh, that's about all we have for no, you. No, it isn't. It's not, we have no. another song? Yes, either. we do have another okay, song. we do have another song. song, the, song the most important song of the day, Fred's favorite, I think. <laughs> do you need these? No. Okay, good. Because I want to let Terry hold us. Yeah. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I'd work for all my life, and I had to start again with just my children and my wife. I thank my lucky stars to be living here today, but the flag still stands for freedom, and I can't take that away. Hey. 
banks of Minnesota to the hills of Tennessee. Across the plains of Texas, from sea to shining sea, from Detroit down to Houston, New York to L.A. There's pride in every American heart, and it's time we stand and say, An American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the ones who died, who gave that right to me. And I gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the USA. American, where at least I know I'm free. And I won't forget the ones who died, who gave that right to me. And I'll gladly stand up next to you and defend her still today. Cause there ain't no doubt I love this land. God bless the We want to say thank you to each and every one of you that tuned in for this special day. We want to thank Fred and Terry for their hospitality and just making it so much fun for us. And first and foremost, God bless America. God bless the USA. Take care, stay safe and healthy till we see you the next time. And God bless each and every one of you. That's right. And bye bye. Let's, let's end it like we always do. Sure, we can do that. Roy and Dale would be proud. Yeah. Roy and Dale. Oh, yeah. we sure miss those. Well, you sure do. Some trails are happy, others are blue. It's the way you ride the trail that counts. Here's a happy one for you. Happy trails to you. Till we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Who cares about the heat? Oh, good.